Hello friends and welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be doing an unboxing and little bit of overview of a food supplement, a natural food supplement uh, which you can incorporate in your daily life. Uh maine ye order isliye kiya hai kyunki lately despite eating good food and despite eating vegetarian diet all the veggies and everything Uh, there was a little bit of sluggishness and uh, laziness in the body so one of my friends actually suggested this this to me uh this is actually uh i ordered from amazon and uh, let's just unbox it and show you what it is so this is the packaging of amazon in which it comes in i have just opened it previously uh so just give me one second Right so this is uh, this is the packaging in which it comes in and let's just open it and when i have opened it via scissor this is the supplement let's just keep the packaging aside of amazon so this is by the company known as carbamide forte or forte however you want to pronounce it uh, this is vitamin b12 tablet methyl cobalamin 500 mcg nova b12 500 it contains 90 tablets and on the one side of the packaging it states the the date of manufacturing which is september 2023 and the expiry is uh, 2025 august so next year and uh, it is mrp is 460 but on amazon it i purchased it for relatively less i believe it was 399 or something uh, rupees or 400 something rupees uh, and this is actually made by manufactured by strava healthcare private limited which is in ahmedabad gujarat and you can follow them on facebook twitter and uh, they are uh, marketed by noos life sciences which is in very west mumbai and do you have the support and for any queries or anything like that now this is the same thing here and this is the details about the supplement which states that it's gmp certified good manufacturing process certified us fda registered company trusted since 1976 and each tablet contains methyl oak methyl cobalamin 500 mcg and you can take the dosage is one tablet with any meal once a day and keep it out of reach of the children store in a cool dry place and that's it and, and if we open the packaging so this is how the the bottle looks like and over here also these are the same things that are printed on the label as there it was on the box and over here yeah pretty much the same now if you open it i'll just open it once so this is the seal actually which it comes in and if you take out the tablet itself then this is how it basically looks like so this is written cf and this is a small tablet now just to give you a bit, little bit of brief about this supplement so actually we need the vitamin b12 supplement in our body our body doesn't produce it so we need vitamin b12 in our bodies uh, for many various functions for cognitive function for nervous system health uh, for uh, digestive Uh, system optimal functioning and everything so this is one of the most common uh, one of the most important actually vitamins apart from vitamin d3 and your thyroid functions uh, which should be i believe monitored and tracked by uh, the people who are in their mid 30s or let's say starting of 40s because i have read somewhere and i've also experienced and i've also seen that a deficiency of this vitamin b12 causes severe symptoms or mimics certain symptoms which might be of certain other things like you know you will uh, uh, my friend suggested that this is to me because he said that he was feeling 
lower in energy or fatigue even despite taking a adequate rest and uh, uh, he was uh, eating properly still he was not uh, feeling optimal in his energy levels and there was light numbness or tingliness in his feet and so these are all the symptoms that was experienced by him and i was also lately feeling the same so uh, this he suggested as a supplement and the reason is that this vitamin b12 is adequate for in in the uh, people in the diet of people who eat non vegetarian diet so if you're if you're a meat eater if you're red meat eater or you let's say eat chicken and fish and all these non vegetarian items regularly in your diet then you will not feel deficient of this because it is adequate and abundant in the non vegetarian diet in vegetarian diet it is somewhat limited so for vegetarians this at times needs to be supplemented but there are good sources of sub, uh, food also uh, in which for vegans or uh, vegetarians uh, through which they can get vitamin b12 now there are two types of this vitamin b12 one is cyanocobalamin which is the synthetic version this is methyl cobalamin which is the natural version the difference between as i as i stated the first one is the synthetic version made by man this is the natural version and it is very it is relatively much better absorbed by the body so that's why uh, i opted for methyl cobalamin instead of cyanoco cobalamin now the daily recommended dosage of this is actually pretty less uh it is i think around 2.2 to 2.3 or 4 mcg per day this single tablet is 500 mcg but that's okay because if you are really deficient in this vitamin this particular vitamin then uh you can take this tablet for some time and then check your vitamin b12 levels and your symptoms and stop it i'm not a doctor i'm not giving any advice or suggestions but what i have known to my research and this is a water soluble vitamin this is not a fat soluble vitamin so since this is a water soluble vitamin so whatever excess it is there in your body and when you drink in water and everything it gets flushed out from your system so so that's why uh, i opted for partic- or this particular company and this particular bottle and it was very well recommended to me by certain other people also and uh, i also went through certain remarks or comments uh, of this particular company on amazon and seems like a pretty good deal to me uh, but i have just started taking this so the actual effect and impact of this in my day to day functioning will be known in the coming few days or let's say coming few weeks of which i'll definitely keep you posted uh but yeah this was a short unboxing and uh informative video it's not a diagnosis or something like that just an information which i am sharing about vitamin b12 and the forms of vitamin b12 which you can and which should be incorporated in your body because at times what i have also seen in my in my own experience is that sometimes the deficiency sometimes the symptoms are severe or let's say mildly severe but the cause of those symptoms is very uh, is very is just a is just a vitamin deficiency same thing i have seen with people who are vitamin d3 deficient and such people who are deficient in vitamin b12 i have also uh come across certain people who were just vitamin b12 deficient and they were showing symptoms which was a little bit of exaggeration exaggerated in terms of fatigue in terms of poor concentration focusing uh doing their day to day functioning in uh sleep quality and all that so yeah so pretty that's what pretty much about it so if you find this information relevant and somewhat useful do like share comment and subscribe to the channel and we'll come up with the next one thank you